Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at a group of super cool ultra rare titles for the Atari 2600 and 7800. Now it took us about three months to put together this group of 10 titles to show you guys. I don't know if any of you have been watching the Atari market over the past year or so, but the Atari 2600 and 7800 prices just been going straight up. Even for a complete box, you expect to pay 1000 plus for these super rare titles. Factory sealed, 3000 to 5000 should get you the game, but you know, these prices have just been going straight up since the boom of just a few years ago when everybody's chasing the Nintendo games, everybody's kind of forgetting about the Atari, all that's changed now. Everybody's racing back to the Atari games, pushing these prices way up. It's very, very difficult to get these games at a reasonable price now. We're just getting destroyed in auctions. No matter what price we put in, someone will always come in and beat us out. So it took us three months to put together just these 10 titles to show you guys today. But we have some super cool games here to show you guys, some rare titles, some games you don't see that often. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll take a look at our first game. We're gonna go through these just like we always do, give our opinion on how we think they're gonna grade, send them off to WADA. Once WADA sends it back to us, we'll have an unboxing, show you guys what grades we actually got back from WADA, see how close we were on our assumption. So let's take a look at our first game here. Now this here is Sword Quest Earth World for the Atari 2600. This one here is uncommon. It's not incredibly rare, but it is uncommon factory sealed. You see these all the place, all over the place in complete box. But factory sealed, they are tough to find. They did come cellophane sealed and just glue sealed. This is a glue sealed version, so we'll just get an NS rating. But we expect to get like an 8.0 out of this. You know, it does have some color rubbing on the back and on the front here, just color rubbing, a little crease here on the top. A little, you know, the corners are not incredibly sharp. But this one here, like I said, it is factory sealed. You don't see these factory sealed as often. It's an uncommon, not incredibly rare. You do see them, but in condition like this, in like an 8.0 condition, you know, they're pretty scarce. You usually see these games really beat up. This here does have the original price sticker on the side, so that's kind of cool, a little stamp in time. But like I said, this one here, the sides are great condition. But it looks like people slid it in and out of their collection, probably on a bookcase or something like that. They slid it in and out of their collection over the years. Did get color rubbing, creasing. So we expect, you know, an 8.0, 8.5 if they're feeling generous, but we expect an 8.0 out of this. 8.0 NS is what we expect. Still a super cool game. You know, the Sword Quest series rose to fame with the Waterworld. The Waterworld is the grail for this series, and that is a grail for the Atari 600 collection altogether. That's a tough game to find sealed or complete in box. But the Earth World and the Fire World, you do see, we try to pick them up, factory sealed whenever we can. Still a cool game to have, a really cool series back in the day. Okay, let's take a look at our second game here. Now this here is Trick Shot for the Atari 2600. This is an iMagic game. This is factory sealed in the cellophane. These are tough to find cellophane sealed. For some reason, a lot of the cellophane gets damaged, people pull the cellophane off, which is not a good idea for these high you know reflective boxes they get a lot of scuffing a lot of scraping a lot of color rub so if you find these in the factory seal in the factory cellophane seal you pick these up these are tough to find in this condition you know this is a high grade game and this is what you're looking for with any of these eye magic games because they do come in these really reflective you know prism like boxes so you do want to find these in the cellophane and like i said this one here super high quality super high grade you don't see trick shot much, you know. You do see some of the other other games for my magic frequently, but trick shot, you know, we we've probably only ever seen one of these, so that's why we grabbed this one here when we, when we could. It does have the original price sticker on there, twenty four fifty five, or twenty four ninety five. The original price on this game when it first came out, like I said, trick shot you don't see often. This one here, we do expect a high grade out of this, and this is a slip case. You see, you pull the game out like this. They don't really have slip cases that much for the Atari game. So this is it's just a cool game to have in your collection. So this one here, we expect a 9, 6 to 9, 8, A++ on this. There's no issues with this game at all. No creasing, no, no color up, you know, because it is cellophane sealed. The corners are sharp. Nothing's poking through, no holes. This is a 9, 8, A++ in our opinion. You know, we're going to send this in. This should be a high grade. Okay, here's a really cool, here's a really cool game. Here we have Lost Luggage by Apollo. Now this one here is complete in box. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Apollo published video games. It is almost impossible. I don't think we've ever seen an Apollo factory sealed box. They're all complete in box and they're all beat up and crushed. This one here is in immaculate condition. 
I mean, look at this thing. There's no crushing. These things are super sharp. Look at this. This is a nice high-grade example of an Apollo game. And Lost Luggage is not one you see that often because I can't imagine it was heavily sold when it came out. Who wants to play a game about losing your luggage at the airport? But this one here, like I said, super high grade. We expect it. You know, this is a CIB, a complete box game. It's not factory sealed. So they do have to grade the contents. So that could take us down a little bit. But man, this box is nice. We expect a high grade on this box. When we get the subgrades for this, we expect at least a 9, 2, 9, 4. We don't see any color rubbing. The corners are super sharp. I mean, this this is this is a nice this is a nice example. We expect a nine four nine six out of this. If the contents are in, in the same condition as the outer box, we expect a nine four or nine six out of this. Like I said, the Apollo games. A lot of these publishers back in the day, like Apollo, uh, Tiger Vision. You do see some Tiger Vision games sealed, but not many. But Apollo games, you never find sealed. And Panda games, you know, Panda published video games. Forget about it. You don't see those complete box hardly. So to get those games factory sealed is impossible. Apollo games, very tough to find. Factory sealed, I don't think we've ever seen one. That's why we buy these complete box. We don't usually buy complete box Atari games because there are a lot of them out there, you know. People loved the Atari when it first came out. It was the first home console that people could actually interchange the games. So people bought a lot of games, you know. So to find these complete box, there's going to be a lot of complete box games out there in the world. But these Apollo games, these are tough to find. Complete box, factory sealed, you forget about it. So that's why we do get these in in the box version. And here is another Apollo game. This is Final Approach. Once again, great, great condition on this box. You know, you just do not see Apollo games in this kind of condition. These bright blue boxes, you know, they did not store well. They had a lot of color rubbing, easy to scratch, easy to scuff. The, the corners on this one here are a little rubbed, not, you know, not as sharp as that one. But once again, I mean, you see, you have a little teeny bit of dent here on the top where you know where it was open but other than that once again very clean very sharp box no no smashing back you know th there's a little dent here in the bottom where probably somebody held it and popped up in the top so there's a little teeny depression in there i don't think that's going to take it down too much this one here not going to be as high grade as this this one here we expect a 9.4 ish this one here i would say we expect an 8.5, 8.5 to 9 on this. Once again, this will be a complete box, so it all depends on the contents. If the contents are perfect, we'll get a 9.0-ish. If the contents are, you know, a little beat up or not as nice, expect an 8.0 or 8.5. But once again, Apollo games, it doesn't really matter. We buy those complete box when they're in this condition. Whenever we can find them, we pick those up. Oh, here's one. Here's one that's become more rare over the years. Star Wars Jedi Arena. Now this one here is cellophane sealed. As you can see, it was on sale for $1.29. Can't beat that price. And this one here has become more rare over the years. A few years ago, you did see these more often. You just don't see them anymore. Any of these Parker Brothers games, you know, they're just tough to find. And this one here, great condition. This is great condition. These Parker Brothers games are harder. The boxes are harder because the tops of these actually pull off this way. So it's, you have a double, more or less a double row cardboard here on all around the edges. So it keeps them from getting really crushed and really damaged unless you really, you know, smash them hard. That's why these come a little bit better condition than some of the other titles. But this one here, great condition. There is a teeny, teeny little creasing here, but nothing major. See on this looks great. It's a little dirty, but we'll probably wipe it down before we send it in. Seal looks great. Box looks great on this. There's no holes. There's no holes or tears in the seal. A++ on the seal. The box itself, because of this, let's say a 9. You know, let's say a 9 on this. 9.0. You know, it may be a 9.2. 9.0 or 9.2. You know, this one here, like I said, has become more rare over the years. But still, a really cool game to have in your collection, even in 9.0 or 9.2. Oh, now here's one. Heavily sought after game. Crawl. Now this one here, people love this game. People, this is one that is heavily sought after. In this condition here, we have never seen one this nice. This We expect to get the highest grade in the pop out of this particular game. Whenever we see these games, they're usually very crushed. This here does have a little crushing right here on the side, but that is it. 
And this has, the seal on this is fantastic. There's a couple scratches, service scratches on the seal, which it may take off for. So let's say the seal is A+, you know, not an A++. But it doesn't really matter. You know, this game, besides this little crushing here on the, on the side, on the, on the portion right here, that is all we see. Everything else is immaculate. Corners are sharp. Edges are sharp. I mean, this is this is a perfect condition almost. It still has a hang tab on it. Like I said, this little spot here is the only thing that's going to take us down. So we expect a 9, 9 0 out of this because of this little spot here. But we have never seen one of these in high grade. These are always mid-grade games. And being that this is factory sealed, this we expect to get a high, high spot on the pop out of this game. Crawl, that is a great game to have in your collection. Now here's a rare game. Marine Wars. Now this one here, super tough to find this game. You know, I think we have one in stock, factory sealed. These are just tough to find. This one here, this one here is a little dusty. We are gonna have to wipe this one down as well. Like I said, it took us about three months to put together these 10 games. So they got a little dusty when they were sitting around waiting, to, waiting for the video. But once again, the seal on this, perfect. No holes, tears, no rips. The seal on this is great. This game here, very tough to find. A, a few of them came to market over the past couple months, and we we snagged the two that we could. We have this one. The other one isn't as good a condition, so we probably won't send that one in. But this one here, we snagged. Like I said, we do have one in stock that we bought about two years ago, and that's the only other factory seal one we've ever seen. That's why we grabbed these other ones when we saw them. And after that, we've never we never seen again. So these games here, very, very tough to find. Like I said, this one here, great condition on the seal. A a plus plus or a plus there is a couple surface scratches it all depends on how much they take off for that we expect at least an a plus if not it'll be an a plus plus and this is, looks like a nine eight i don't see anything i mean the corners are sharp there's no color rubbing of course because you have the cellophane no crushing no dings this one here looks like a nine eight to us nine eight a plus plus on this super rare game if you ever see these out in the wild pick them up they are going to cost you but it's worth having in your collection Okay, now this one here, this is our last game for the Atari 2600. We do have a couple for the 7800, but this one here, you talk about a rare game you do not see out in the wild. Here we have X-Man by GameX. This is an adult video game. No sale to minors across the bottom here. This one here is factory sealed. This thing is incredibly, incredibly perfect. We're going to be very careful with this. We had to pay good money for this one. And like I said, this is the only one we've seen ever out in the wild factory seal. We've only ever seen one copy factory seal that sold at Heritage a couple years ago. I think about 8,000, but that was an 8.5. This one here, we expect an, a 9.8 out of this. There is nothing wrong. There's no crushing. The seal is great on this. We expect an A++ out of the seal here. Like I said, we're gonna be very careful with this one. I mean, this is an A++ seal. The box is super crisp, man. This came off the... This came off the assembly line almost. You know, this is perfect. Yeah, this one here, 9.8 A++ on this. This here is one of the rarest games for the Atari 2600 because it is an adult game. They did not make a lot of these. This one here, like I said, if you find this out there, factory sealed with an original factory seal, not a reseal, pick these up, man. These games, there's not a lot of them out there, factory sealed, so you can expect a great appreciation on these in the future. This one here, we're excited to send this one in. 9.8, easy. 9.8 A++ on this. If we get anything lower than that, we will be we will be disappointed. That is a perfect, perfect box. All right, here you go. We have two 7800 games. First one here is Tomcat. This is the F-14 flight simulator. Absolute made a few of these big box games for the 7800. And these are pretty tough to find because these big boxes here are very fragile. It's made out of very thin cardboard. They did not last. You know, they were always smashed, always crushed. The cellophane is always torn because the boxes themselves kind of cave in a little bit. So the cellophane kind of rises off of it. So you always see slices in the cellophane. This one here, perfect condition. There have been a couple of these come to market over the past few months. So this one here, let's say, isn't as rare as it was. But once those couple are gone, I don't expect to see this one again. This is the first one we've ever seen. That's why we bought it. But like I said, there have been a couple pop up, but it doesn't really matter. Any of these absolute titles and these big boxes for the 7800, you know, these are games you want to pick up when you see them. Now for the 2600, very common. 
the 7800, the big box version, as you can see, this is a much bigger box. The big box version for the 7800, these are the ones you want. These are the ones you want to pick up. This one here, like I said, great condition. A couple of pings in the cellophane, but nothing major. Doesn't affect the box condition. I think the box on this, you know, 9496. You know, there's, I don't know. There's a little teeny bit of caving in here on the bottom, but that's, I think that's from the cellophane pulling, so I don't think they're going to take off for that. Now that looks, um, 9496 on this, A++. You know, this is a great, great condition. All these games were just, you know, immaculate. And that's why we picked them up. Like I said, we only go after the high end, the, the highest end games we find, especially for these rare titles. Because, you know, it matters, condition matters even in rarity. Some games, like, like I said, the Panda games, the complete box versions or the Apollo games, you have to find those actually in good condition, impossible. So whenever we do, we buy all those, even complete box. But even some of the super, super rare stuff, even beat up is okay to buy. Because I can't imagine there's more than one or two copies out there in the world. But these games here, like I said, for the 7800, you know, there's probably a couple out there in people's collections that they're just hanging on to. So eventually they will come to market. So you want to focus on the highest quality you can. All right, here we go. Now this here is a key for the 7800. Title match pro wrestling for the 7800. Once again, absolute big box clearance sticker on there. Original price sticker marked out, clearance 197. Once again, these absolute big box games, impossible to find for the 7800, and this here is the hardest one. This is the hardest title to find. We do have one more of these. We sent it in to VGA, I don't know, a year ago. We still haven't got it back yet, but it had a couple slices in the cellophane. This here cellophane is perfect. I mean, we don't see any holes in this. I mean, this, this cellophane on this is great. The box condition is fantastic as well. Like I said, these big boxes, they crush easy. You know, they, they smash, they don't, you know, the, the paper they made these out of, super thin. There's a little teeny creasing here in the corner, kind of where it got smashed on the corner, but not bad. We expect, you know, these, these two here will have to go to VGA. So out of the Tomcat here, we'd say probably an 80 out of this one from VGA. This one here, once it, probably an 80 as well even with the little smashing here, because everything else is perfect on this. We expect about 80 out of this also. Like I said, they do have to go to VGA, so <laughs> who knows when we'll see them again. Maybe 2024, we'll do an unboxing for these. Once we get our other ones back that we sent to VGA in February, I think this year, we'll actually show you guys, but we still haven't got them back yet. So there you have the 10 titles that we have for you guys this week. Not a lot here. Like I said, it took us three months to put these together. The Atari market is on fire. Impossible for us to pick up these games. Please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. As always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.